There's no way this works. That's no fun. That's no fun at all. All right, well, I guess we're gonna stream this way. It's certainly no fun. All right, well, hello everyone. Thanks for coming outside today. 11 people have already joined. Holy cow. We got some new bows. It is the opening day of archery season in Pennsylvania starting tomorrow. I just got home from work. Um, I've got some uh, new bows uh, in the mail recently. Uh, I've been asked by a couple of different uh, companies, uh, one in particular, uh, Mandarin Duck, based out of Nanjing, China, uh, to do some uh, bow reviews. So, uh, hey, from Alabama, welcome. Uh, so, Pennsylvania's archery season opens up tomorrow, so I'm really excited. Uh, I'm glad to be outside with you today, too. So, welcome. And uh, so, I'm just going to step behind this wonderful table here, and we're going to unbox a new bow. Uh, so, as you know, Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear me or not. We'll find out. Uh, so as you know, I shoot, you know, Hoyt Carbon Element. This is what I've been shooting for years. I'm going to continue to shoot it uh, for archery season, which opens, like I said, opens up tomorrow. So I'll be out tomorrow morning. Mandarin Duck sent me a uh, recurve. This is a 45 pound recurve from Mandarin Duck. Super excited to shoot that. I'm going to do a full review on this bow. I opened it up a little prematurely. I didn't do an unboxing because I know most of the people that follow my channel are uh, out here to watch compound stuff. So I got a compound bow uh, from Mandarin Duck and I see there's like 400,000 comments. Let's read some of these. This is, this is brand new and exciting. What does this button do? Oh, show messages. Oh, good. Thank you. We can. Everybody can hear me just fine. New bows are the best. Good evening from London. Good evening to you, anybody in the uh, whatever time zone that is. Anyway, so I got this giant box from Mandarin Duck. They sent me compound bow. I did open the top because this thing was, as of course, as you know, it was uh, shipped internationally, and so it was completely covered in saran wrap and it's completely taped so it doesn't break so I have not seen the inside actually truth be told my wife was the one who undid it for me so I see bubble wrap that's positive so let's see what kind of monstrosity we have here I haven't I've never bought a new bow for me and of course I didn't buy this one Mandarin Duck offered to send it to me and I'm very excited that's Malin keys here bunch of tape. This is their, pardon the wind, this is their glory uh, compound bow. Uh, it's a 40 to 60 pound adjustable bow. Definitely geared for those of people that are getting into archery. And uh, I get a lot of questions about bows like this and so I figured it was a great idea to get, get my hands on one and do a review on one. There she be. <laughs> well, that is one heck of a bow. All right. So it's a real, I mean, a really unique looking thing. We've got the tag here from Andrew Duck. We'll pop that off real quick. Look the riser. Very interesting look. I'll see if I can get it on uh, camera here a little bit better. So this bow is meant to be used uh, for both right and left handed. So you can actually take off the cable, uh, the cable guard, the cable rod, and you could actually flip it over, put it on the other side of the bow. You'll notice the riser, this is like a competition style bow. The riser is, um, is a shoot through design. So you actually, as you can see, it's bridged. Right, so you'd actually would shoot through it. So you actually can take this bow and and, um, and like I said, flip that cable guard around and shoot either way. 40 to 60 pounds. Um, these limbs, uh, the uh, recurve bow, the fit and finish on it was fantastic, and it seems to be the same here. I don't see any issues with the fit and finish of these limbs. The riser is like a powder coated finish. They did a really nice job with it. Um, 
Of course, I have no idea how it shoots, and I don't really want to shoot it until I've done a, a full test of it. They have a uh, nice little compass here built into the riser, just in case you take this into the middle of Saskatchewan or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, so it's uh, adjustable uh, and draw lengths from, I think, 26 to 30, I think. I'm not quite uh, sure about that. Oh, we have some more comments. Cool, people think I'm awesome. West Virginia, hey, from Boston. Yeah, it's a cool future look on the bow, I will say. Um, it's got, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it looks like a compound bow. As you can tell, it is huge. 40 inches axle to axle. Um, so it's definitely built like a, three, a 3D competition bow. Definitely not something you want to take really into the woods. Although it's incredibly light. Um, already I can tell how incredibly light this thing is. Um, so... We'll have to uh, take it out and, and give it a few shots. Uh, Camline, it's a, a dual yoke system, and it's a floating yoke, if you know what floating yokes are. Uh, it's not static, so that's going to be interesting to tune. I couldn't tell you what material the strings are made out of, although by judging what they look like, they could be made out of Dacron, uh, for all I know. Of course, there's no instructions or specs to go with the bow so you know there's no um, uh, you know there's no you know what's the brace height supposed to be set at what's the ATA length uh, you know all that sort of stuff we do have a peep in here it appears to be a very small peep uh, I'm guessing probably oh gosh that could even be an eighth if not even smaller so really small competition style of peep obviously the tube servings look tight uh, I don't see any issues there. I don't understand what what exactly is going to be the limb stuff. It appears that the module actually has a bridge, a flat part of a, of a grooved. It still has a slight groove to it, but it's flat, and that looks like that's going to be uh, the cable stop. So that'll be interesting. Be interesting to definitely put it through its paces and see how well the strings hold up um, in terms of their stretch and, and their tunability. That'll be definitely be very interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be buckets of fun to shoot. Uh, it definitely has a, uh, and I this is true of the recurve too. The handles are exactly the same. It is a Hoyt grip. I mean, it is a Hoyt grip. It's the exact same feel. And I don't know if I can show to you shows to you on camera or not. But you can see the the contour of them is identical. It, it's actually it's it's kind of uncanny actually or uh, kind of eerie. I mean, of course, you, you expect these, these, the Hoyt grips are probably, you know, made in China or made overseas and then assembled in the U.S. or whatever. Uh, but yeah, they definitely, um, Mandarin Duck definitely did, uh, did a good job in trying to make this, this bow uh, usable and permissible. So, I don't know, we'll have to take it and put it through its paces. I'd love to shoot it here on camera, but I have, I have nothing set up. I'm, trying to get the family together and, and trying to get all my stuff together tomorrow to go hunting. Uh, but uh, I'll definitely, this is going to be coming down the pipe here in the future, definitely going to be putting, uh, putting it through its paces. Like I said, it's really light for how big it is. And even though it's still 40 inches axle by axle, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that unwieldy. Uh, but we'll have, to, we'll have to give it a run and see what it's like. i got a whole bunch of rests and sights that I can throw onto it. So. But I will say I'll put this down and I'll stop rambling. I will say that uh, wherever you are in the country or in the world, your season is already open for archery, or if it's going to open, I do wish you the best. Uh, I hope you're able to get out and, of course, enjoy God's beautiful creation with whatever equipment you choose, whether it's a, a you know $200 compound bow or a $1,300 compound bow, or even a uh, in this case the uh, the Phantom. This is an $80 recurve bow. Um, so I'm going to definitely be shooting all these through their paces and putting them up for you guys so you can get some reviews on. I get a ton, a ton of questions uh, from folks about super inexpensive uh, bows in particular. Uh, and so I really uh, would like to do a review for, for everybody on something like this and if they're viable. You know, put a couple hundred shots through it. Uh, really give my, uh, my thoughts and how durable these bows are and these, equipment, and these pieces of equipment are. So. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy God's beautiful creation. Maybe I'll step over here and read a comment or two again. Because I see people are commenting. Thank you to the 16 people that are watching this at, you know, whatever time it is in, in the evening right now. 
Oh my gosh, I've been rambling for 10 minutes now? Holy crow. Yeah, it is a long axle to axle. Hello from New Zealand. Love New Zealand. I spent three weeks down in there when I was at university. It's beautiful. My uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the people of Christchurch who are still rebuilding. Uh, yeah, it's probably somewhere in the seven and a half to eight inch brace height. The bow's name is the Glory, the Mandarin Duck Glory. It's a 40 to 60 pound adjustable uh, recurve. You'll probably need, from the looks of things, from the looks of things, you will not need a bow press to adjust drawing. So you don't need different modules. It's just two Allen key, uh, Allen screws, and then you'll uh, rotate the module on both sides accordingly. Small cams and only IBOs at uh, 300 feet a second. So it's really, really slow. Do companies send you these bows? Do you purchase them? Mandarin Duck contacted me and they sent them to me. Thank you to, to Mandarin Duck. Uh, let's see here. Hello from New Jersey. Great, awesome. Do a live q and I don't think so, unless you want to do a live Q&A about archery because Q&As always end up like, what's your favorite pizza? You know, what's your wife's name? And that's just kind of weird. I don't want to talk about that on YouTube. Uh... Thank you. You're awesome too, Chad. I appreciate that. Uh, it's 10 o'clock at night, but not missing the about. Great. The $80 recurve. I can talk about it, I guess. The $80 recurve. This is the Phantom. Like I said, I'm going to plan to do some, some videos. I promised Mandarin I could do some videos. Uh, this is an $80 three-piece takedown recurve. Uh, obviously, a metallic riser. Uh, of course, has all the pre-drilled holes for sights and rests and everything else. I just threw some uh, fuzzy stuff on it. Uh, just so I could get some uh, bare shafts to tune out of it a little bit. Uh, this is a 45 pound bow. Uh, it's a 56 inch tip to tip bow, so very, very short uh, for recurves, but it makes shipping really nice, so I think that's why they use them. Great for beginners, a uh, 56 inch bow if you're a kid, if you're uh, a smaller statured archer. For somebody like me, I like a long bow, like a 62, 64, 66, 66 inch, but for that, that's all I got. Uh, to come to Reno to hunt, oh, pay for me to go and I'll happily go there. Uh, yeah, the color of the recurve is pretty sweet. I like all black bows. That's just kind of my thing. So, anyhow. So, all right. Well, I'm done with that. I hope you are able to get outside. Enjoy God's beautiful creation. Enjoy the sport of archery and archery hunting if you so choose. And uh, stay safe. If you're going out to tree stand tomorrow, wear your lifeline. Wear your safety harness. Your fa folks at home, your family, your wives, your kids, whomever, they, uh, they need you to come home safe. So, make sure you're staying safe tomorrow if you climb up into a tree. So... Get outside, enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we will get to see you next time. And now you get to stare at my face while I try to stop the live stream. Goodbye.